Hello everyone, in peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. I'm trying to find if we have any Muslims. We have the guy who called me from yesterday. If I show you what he is saying to me, you will laugh. <laughs> let me show you what this guy is saying. How dare you, how dare you convert a Muslim? Debate me right now. You cannot accept cause, you cannot debate me. I destroyed you last time, admit it. <laughs> Let us call this the secure one. All right, my friend. Hello? Hello? Hello, you can you hear me? Yeah, you are the one who destroyed me last time, right? Yeah. You know what? Since yesterday, I have I have bruises all over my body because of you. I cannot believe it. So, you know, tell us tell me what what do you, what do you want me to say? What do you like to say? What do you think? Listen, I'm uh -huh. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. You deconverted somebody from the religion of Islam. Do you know what you've done, brother? You have made him into hell fire. You are responsible for somebody sent to hell. But the Quran says you will go to hell anyway. Isn't it the Quran says No, 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 Brother, 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 listen, listen, listen. If mm. somebody commits shirk, if mm. somebody commits sin, mm. do you know what happens? Do you know what happens? What you happened? do prayers, you do fasting, you do Ramadan, and you get forgiven. Oh, ah, okay. But you know, listen, but isn't it Allah, he says, Allah, don't forgive those who commit shirk? So how how if you do Ramadan um, you will forgive him? You made that up. You made you making up verse for making up verses. You're making up verses on the spot. No, I am not. You know. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> no, I did not. You know the Quran says Allah. I'm going for guidance. Okay, I'm going for okay, guidance okay, of okay, Allah. Okay, read read with me. Read with me. Chapter four, verse number forty-eight. Go ahead. It's Arabic. I, I I can't read Arabic. No Arabic, English, English. Brother, brother, English. I cannot read Arabic. My friend, it's in English, English. Brother, I cannot read Arabic. Read in English, read in English. You don't know Arabic. Brother, brother, I, I don't know Arabic. I know you don't I know Arabic. Look, it's in Arabic. Arabic. Don't, it's Arabic. Don't, no, it's in English. Read it in English. Chapter 4, verse number 48. Chapter 4, verse number 48. Hmm. Let me read this. Sunan Nasiya. Allah does not forgive associating others with him. Okay, so... Yeah, so, he never committed shirk. He never believed in Jesus Christ no, as God. But this is mean. But this is mean all the companions of Muhammad, they will not go to heaven. They will go to hell because all of them, they used to uh, do shirk. Abu Bakr, Omar. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Brother, 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 brother. Do not. No, 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 no. Now you corrupting the Quran. No, no. You're laughing. You're laughing. Yeah, I'm laughing because you're yeah. Abdul, listen. You're corrupting the Quran. Abdul, listen. Okay. Who, was the, who was the first Muslim? Who, who was the first Muslim in Mecca? Who was the first Muslim? Give me the name. Uh, I don't know. Muhammad, isn't it? Muhammad the first that. Muslim? He's the prophet. Muhammad is not the first Muslim. No, 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 no. Muhammad is not the first Muslim. The ah. first Muslim is Abraham. Abraham was the first Muslim. Ah, okay. So, uh, okay. Let us go to the Quran then. Mm. Is it the I read the Quran. You do, you, 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 you do not understand the Quran. Okay. So, uh, uh, did Abraham came to Mecca? Uh, yes. Okay. And so Abraham, Muhammad is not the first one who came to Mecca, correct? No, correct. Mm. Okay. All right, let us see what the Quran said. Because as I know, you are wrong about this, you know. Let us see. Uh, according to the Quran, 
Uh, it says, can you give me like a week to, to, to find the verses? No! No? You find a, no, no, no. You find the verse now. Mm, okay. But uh, I need uh, some time, you know, like I'm looking right now. I cannot find it. So what do you think what we will do? You now? can find it. Look for it. Mm -hmm. look, I will look it up. I will search it. Oh, okay. Abraham. Abraham Abraham went to Mecca. I, mm. I searched this. Okay. Look, Muslims well, believe Abraham. Exactly. Okay, the two Muhammad, weeks. The two weeks is the two the two weeks is over. Chapter forty three, verse number twenty three. Alhamdulillah. Allah give me guidance in this debate. Oh wait. It says what? It you says, don't have God on your side. Hold on, hold on. It says here in this verse. It says what it says that we never send any uh, like any uh, 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 any village or any town if we want uh, to you know destroy it we will send bad people to it and that will make it be destroyed so what what's your point no i'm saying that did allah send abraham to destroy the town or he was the the good guy who was the good guy he is the... no he Hmm. He, well, he, Abraham came to destroy the pagan um, statues and stuff. Okay, so when, well. when Abraham he came to Mecca, the people they said to Abraham yeah. that you are a bad person. The verse saying that, like each time we send a messenger, a warner to to uh, people, you know, the rich one or the bad one, they say to him, you know, we we uh, we are following the religion before us. Who was living in Mecca when Abraham came? What? Who was living in, in Mecca when Abraham came? The pagan people. So there was pagan in Mecca before Abraham? Yes. Ah, yeah. They are Mishrikeen, correct? Yes. But you just said, I just showed you that Allah forgive not. Shirk. So if, if Abraham come in to guide them to worship Allah, and Allah forgive not those who did shirk. So what the point of sending Abraham? Well, Abraham had to fulfill um, his mission. Yeah, but but anyway, uh, Allah will not forgive them anyway. So what the? No, 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 no. Listen, no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Hmm. It, the rule against Shirk came after Abraham, not before him. But you just said there was people who was in Mecca before Abraham, and they were mushrikeen. Yes. Okay. So yes. Abraham he the, come to them. The rule against Shirk. So okay. So Abraham he come to them and he says to them. He said to them. Uh, I am here to guide you to Allah, but the Quran says, I am not, I'm not, you know, uh, uh, Allah said, I'm not going to forgive them. So what the point of sending Abraham or Muhammad? And that's the, that's an miracle of Allah. Uh, but miracle, he, he said he will not forgive them in the same time. He will. You, no, no, no. He said he forgive after that. He okay. Was, he made a new rule. All right. You said Abraham is the first one to come to Mecca or, or Adam. Oh, no, Adam never went to Mecca. Adam okay, never went so to Mecca. Num number two is what? Abraham? Yeah, Abraham is one. Adam never went to Mecca. No, according to Muslims, Adam is the one who built the Kaaba. No, Abraham built the Kaaba. No, uh, Abraham. Who he, told you that? Abraham, he left up the Kaaba because after the flood, it was destroyed. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. He built the second one. Uh -huh. yeah. So now we have, we agree, me and you. That Adam and Abraham and Isaac, they were, uh, sorry, and uh, Ishmael, they were there. Okay, but here, chapter 34, verse number 44, it says, There's nobody came to Mecca before Muhammad. Um, 44, I don't know, where, where is it? Show it, show it. You're lying. You lie. You lie. Cha you lie. Chapter 34, don't shout, otherwise I will hang up on you. Chapter 34, verse number 44. We'll put it up. I don't see it. It's in the screen. What verse again? Chapter 34, verse number 44. Okay. Um, Let me read it real quick. Let me get my Quran. It says, They say, so even though we have never given any scriptures to study, nor did. We even sent a warner before you, O prophet. Okay. So, so, so how you Muslim you say that Muhammad is uh, uh you know there's abraham was there adam was there ishmael was there and then the quran says we never sent to them a book or a messenger before you
Uh, I don't really understand. Hmm. Well, you know, I don't get it. Okay, no problem. When you understand, you let me know. Okay. So look at this. Muslims they claim that Allah He sent Adam, He sent Abraham, He sent Ishmael to Mecca. In the same time, He say that people of Mecca they never receive a book before, neither a messenger before. So how that can be? The reason I you know hang up on him, he shout, you know, he's just like um, I don't know. Yeah, we hang up on him. He said, scared uh, of debating me. For sure, I'm scared of debating you. Oh, you have a... Who is a Muslim? He have a long beard. He have a strong knowledge. He like to show people that this guy do not know much. Anyone? If you listen to Arab people stories, you will see how many times they fly a day to the seven heaven. All their stories are fabricated. fabricated. All our history is a fabrication. All of it. All right. The only one who want to debate me, and obviously I'm scared of him, is this kid who his name uh why we do exist come on debate me scared to debate me a real muslim <laughs> i will give you one more call just for a laugh you know just for comedy are you there i'm here hello Okay. I have my camera on this time, as you can see. All right, no I have problem. Have this mask. You should be afraid. No, don't open your don't open your camera for me. I'm not interested. I will hang up on you if you open the camera. Look at the mask. Okay, I will hang up on you then. Don't no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So now, I want to ask you: Is it true that yes, sir. have you ever seen Shaitan piss? He pee. I've never seen Shaitan piss. But do he pee, Shaitan? Do he do he pee? Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, yeah, he does. Why you believe that he pee? What is the proof? Well, it's because like, as uh, there are a lot of ridiculous things in the Quran, but I believe that there's a lot of evidence for like Islam, like scientific miracles. So I accept oh, oh, the entire on, Quran. Because of Did that. you say there is ridiculous things in the Quran? Huh? Did you just say there is ridiculous things in the Quran? Yeah. But I, I swear it because there's scientific miracles in it that prove that the whole thing's true. Okay, but you just said there's ridiculous things in the Quran. Like what? Like what you just mentioned. Like what? Like what you said, shaitan pissing, the earwax. Like it's kind of crazy, but it's like as the scientific miracles prove Islam. Ah, so uh, you are saying there's, there's stupid things in Islam, but Islam have something smart at the same time. Uh, yeah, sort of. Okay. But that still makes it true. Oh, okay. But you wait. Why are you so? so wait, so, why do you want to debate? So you so you think Muhammad was a stupid sometime, a smart sometime, maybe? No, no, no. He was always a hundred percent truthful. He told he was the prophet of Islam. Okay. So what he how he say that Shaitan he's pissed in your ears? Well, maybe that is true. It's just we don't understand it. Maybe it's just kind of out of our understanding. Uh, like the Trinity, you don't understand the Trinity. Uh -huh. You don't understand Trinity. Yeah, I understand it. We can debate the Bible. You don't. You would no, never debate the Bible with me. You would get knocked out of the park. Really? Okay, knock me out of the park. You right. look last last time, huh? last last stream. I asked you, show me a verse in the Bible, in the Bible, not mm. the Quran, in the Bible, mm. where it says Jesus is God. Worship me. Red letters. Go. Okay. Let us let us see. I will and I will repent to the you. Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Online. I uh, will show you the verse. From the Quran or from the Bible? Is that okay? No, 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 Quran, Bible, Bible, Bible. From the Bible and the Quran, because we have to connect. Who is the one who? Okay. For, who, who is the one who forgives sin? Huh? Who is the one who forgives sin? Allah. Only Allah. Only Allah. Okay, so Muhammad cannot forgive sin. 
Muhammad can accept sin, but he does not forgive them. He gives them to Allah. He's the interceder. He intercedes for us. All right. So the Quran says that who can forgive sin save Allah. Do you agree with that? I do agree with that. All right. So if we show you that Jesus forgives sin, does that mean that he is God? Jesus forgive no sin. No, we, you know, we are, okay. It's not up to you, it's not up to me. Like, are, are, you, are you going to talk to me as a man or as a kid? Well, I am the man here. I think you are the kid because you don't, you didn't give me a verse from the Bible. Hmm. So if I give you... Where's the Bible? If I give you verses from the Bible, what you would do? You would accept that the Quran... I will obey, I will obey down... No, no, no. I will obey down and I'll accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior if you can prove that He is God in the Bible. All right. But do you promise? Promise. I promise. Okay. All right. Let us see what the Bible says. <clears throat> uh, I will put it for you in the screen. And let us see. This is Matthew, chapter 1 to 8, and we can read if you want specifically. Uh, Matthew 1, 8? Yeah. Okay, I'm on it. All right. Can you read it for us? Uh, Matthew 1, 8, correct? Matthew, sorry, chapter, chapter uh, Matthew chapter 9, verse from 1, 1 to 8. Yeah. Okay, so I can do that. Yeah, because I'm I know more about the Bible than the Quran because I used to be a Christian. Oh, I used to be a Christian. Yeah, I could believe you. Yes. Okay, let me read. So, so all through it, the entire thing. Mm. So tell me, what is what what is says uh, there? And he entered the ship, passed over into the city, and behold, they brought a man sick of palsy, lying. And Jesus, seeing their faith, unto them, "Son, be of good cheer; thy sins be forgiven thee." And behold, stop, the certain scribes stop, say, stop, "He blasphemed." Stop! Stop! Did you just say that Jesus said to the man, your sin is forgiven? Yes, but Allah is forgiving them through Jesus. No, where it says that Allah said, did he say your sin is forgiven? He forgave his sin? Yes, but he said the Father is greater than I. So the Father, is, he is interceding for him. He's saying that your sins are forgiven. Okay, and where, where, is, where, where, where it says what you are saying, where you are getting this? I will give you the verse. Where it says that the Father forgives your sin. And when you are praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven hmm. may forgive you your sins. All right. So now, we, so who is the Father? The Father is Allah. Is Allah? Did Jesus says me and the Father is one? Uh, that that's corrupted. Huh? But you just said to me, show me from the Bible. Yes, but some parts, the, the parts that agree with the Quran are true. The parts that don't agree are hmm. corrected. Ah, okay, okay. Let us correct the so other one. So now I just showed you that when the Father forgive, Jesus he forgive. If we go to Luke, as long as you said you know you know the Bible, Luke chapter seven. Yeah. Go there. Luke, Luke chapter seven. Chapter seven, verse. Number, yeah, I'm on Luke chapter seven. Read from verse number five, uh, for, uh, for, uh, like 45, 45, 46, 47, 48. Go ahead. Okay, all right. Uh, you did not give me a kiss, but this woman, from the time I entered, has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not put oil on my head, but she has poured perfume on my feet. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, mm -hmm. as her great love had been shown. Mm -hmm. But whoever has been forgiven, these li little ones loves little. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus said to her, your sins are forgiven. The other guest said, Stop. who is this who forgives sins? Okay. Who is this who can forgive sin? What do you say? Uh, I think, I th like I said, I think Allah is using Jesus through him, ah, and he's, um, ah, Allah right. is using Jesus, uh -huh. Correct. All right. He gave him the authority right. to forgive but, sins. But you Allah see, gave him the authority but you, but to forgive you, sins. But you see, you promised me, if I show you that Jesus, say his God, and we agree, that so only, he's God. Just because he confessed, just showed, forgiving sins doesn't make you God. I agreed. Let us speak as a, as a, if you want to speak like a kid, I will hang up on you. You said to me, if I show you that Jesus is God, and I ask you, who is the one who forgives sin? You said only Allah, right? 
Then I showed you another verse, and right. the verse saying that the Father forgive your sin. And I ask you, who is the Father? You said God. Okay. And then I said to you that Jesus says, me and the Father is one. And then we showed you a verse. Jesus saying to the women, go and your sin is forgiven. So only the Father can forgive sin. You right. said, this is God, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. And Jesus said to the women, your sin is forgiven. Did Jesus say, may your sin forgiven? Or he said to her, go and, go and your sin is forgiven. Right. So what right? So? So Jesus, he forgive her uh, sin. It's corrupted. So it's it's and corrupted, though. It's corrupted. corrupted. Ah, okay. So you are, you see, you are a hypocrite. You are a potato. You promise me if I show you in a clear evidence that Jesus is okay, God. Okay, okay. No, no, no. One verse. Only, Just give me a verse that says, all, I'm God. No, the, the verse is in the front of you. I'm, I can give you many. Chapter 3, verse 135 in the Quran says, Who forgives sin save Allah only? Does it say that okay, in the that Quran? Makes... Yeah, true. Okay. True. And the verse I showed you, it says, Jesus said, Go and your sin is forgiven. Correct? Yeah. Does it say that may God forgive you? No. Does the Jew say to him, Who is the one who forgives sin? Yeah. Which means only God can forgive sin, correct? Yeah. Okay. So how would Jesus forgive sin? You explain to me. Go ahead. Um. It's a uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, Jesus maybe was temporarily God. Like he was God for like maybe ah, the time on earth. But then he was no longer God. Okay. So Jesus was temporarily God for maybe that day. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Now correct. you said you will bow down and pray to Jesus if I prove to you that Jesus is God. Because Jesus no, he's not God anymore, though. No, he was. He was God. Ah, he was God. No longer. Uh -huh. But still, you said to me, if you can show me one verse in the Bible saying that Jesus is God, you will bow down, or pray to Jesus. Go ahead, do it. Open the camera. I will put it on your screen. Okay. Open your okay. camera. Okay. I, I, all right, you win. You win. You win. Oh, okay. So I will... right. Father God, I come unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask for forgiveness in Jesus' name. Okay. Oh, well, hold on. Nobody saw you bowing down. Just hold on. Let me put, uh, put you in the, in the camera so everybody can see you. Go ahead. Bow down again to Jesus. Okay. Father <laughs> Father God, I come down to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and I ask for your forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, that's it. You, are, you left Islam and now you became you became a Christian. Good to, good, good to have you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right that was that was fun that is it's funny what we can say you know I mean, what you can do uh, yeah can you show me where jesus is god i got the, his jesus is god temporarily now what does that mean you know is it a god or is it not god only god can forgive sin the quran confirmed that so when the Muslim they say to you, show me where Jesus says I'm God, you know, I mean there is no honesty here. Right? There's no honesty. In the in the challenge, there is no honesty. Even Jesus, he confirmed, yes, your sin is forgiven. Go in peace. Don't worry about them. Who is the one who can forgive sin? Did Jesus say, I don't forgive sin? No, you know, don't, don't take me wrong. No. So when the Quran confirmed that nobody forgives sin, <coughs> save Jesus, sorry, save Allah. And then we find that the Messiah, he confirmed that he is the one who save, who save people from their sin. And even the people right away, they question, who is the one who can, you know, forgive sin? Who is the one who can do that? He said to her, go, go in peace. Your sin is forgiven, that's it. Who is this that forgive sin also? Also. So my friends, we have millions of reasons to believe in Jesus as God 
and we use the yellow pages of Muhammad to prove our point not because we believe in the Quran but because the Quran is what you believe in so we show you in from what you believe in the reasoning otherwise we do not need to read the Quran Quran is just a stupid book anyway so today we have two people left Islam thank to God thank you Lord and we pray that our mission will be will do, be doing better and better and better. And please, if you know a Muslim sheikh who claimed that to have knowledge, uh, there is no need to say face to face and all this madness because obviously, if you say that, you are trying to avoid debating me. You can call me. We will have a nice conversation. People do not need to see your face, neither my face. You know, there is no need for that. But people who make it face to face is just seeking excuse. So the debate will never happen. Actually, we can even call it a, a nice conversation, not a debate. All right. So if we can find a Muslim, if you can find a Muslim, if you know a Muslim who is willing to do so, please let him contact us. And I will be happy uh, to talk to you, to see what you, you know, what you believe in, how much you know how much smart you are how much educated you never know maybe you will make me convert to islam you know for me i you know who said i mean versions i mean who can resist that hummus hummus in heaven there's no hummus that's bad there's only uh, i mean the quran is a very funny book by the way it says that you will eat meat bird the meat of birds from what you wish only bird, what about if i like shrimp <laughs> only bird so the whole heaven is about barbecue chicken barbecue or ducks barbecue or turkey barbecue and uh, this is only grape bar, uh, uh, bird uh, food bracelet chair couches pillows and women that's it nice to meet you what a boring life no tv no internet nothing uh, Allah, he never heard about it at that time. Trust me, if Muhammad, he saw screen, the screen TV, he will promise you the biggest screen TV ever you can imagine. He will give you unlimited access to internet in his heaven and Quran. But in his time, this is what, you know, people dream about, you know, like a grape, qutufa hadaniya. You do not, eat, look how lazy even they are. They don't even want to move. The grape will come down to you. Like it's coming down. What I mean, so what those people would do, I wonder even how they have sex because obviously they will not move. They are lazy, you know. Maybe it's a, you know, it's like imaginary sex because if you cannot even go and get, get the grape, you know. Look at this. Chapter 69, verse number uh, uh, 23, chapter 60, 76, verse number 14. You know, what is this? I mean, he is thinking about how it's going to be easy to reach. I mean, it's a grape tree. It's not like a, it's not like a palm tree. No, we will make it short for you. But what short for you? Aren't you going to make them 90 mile tall? I mean, if if the guy is tall, he's, he's 90 mile tall. What do you mean he will make he will make the, the, the palm tree down, you know, for them? I mean the, the, the grape tree. What a crazy cult. If he is 90 miles tall. You know, and this reminds me by the way, like if you go, if you go before we before we finish today, you know, the the Muslim believe that Adam and all the Noah and etc., they were so tall. Uh, <clears throat> if you go and search for the tomb of a prophet Adam in the in the internet okay let us see this is the one this is one for Adam no this is Amran Amran is shorter than Adam. Just to give you an idea, guys. Just to give you an idea. Look at this. Let me put it on the screen for you. 
This is the tomb of Amran. Who is Amran? This is the father of Mary. I mean, do you see how tall it is? This guy is like 90 meter. This is the tomb of the father of Mary according to Islam. Okay. Adam and Abraham, they are older, they are taller. So I want to know how in the world that Adam who was so tall, yet he built the Kaaba so small. The Kaaba is not even to the height of his shin. <laughs> you know, okay, Abraham, uh, sorry, Adam, he built the Kaaba. And then Abraham, he fixed it. Okay, but why is so small if they are so tall? This is not even in the size of a, of, a, of a little box delivery from Amazon compared to the size of Adam or Abraham. What happened? Based on this, the Kaaba should be like 70 floor, higher than the, 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 the highest building in, in, in the earth. Do you think it shrink because of a global warming? <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid cult no we are not taking calls in Skype my friend we are using Pat Talk. if you know a Muslim he's a sheikh please feel free we would be happy to have him live with us with this I want to finish for today so people can download the video I hope you guys enjoy it thank you very much for being here feel free to subscribe to our channel and to join us in Patreon if you care and we will see you soon again, maybe in a few hours from now, maybe tomorrow. We will see. Subscribe and wait for the coming event. Don't forget to leave a comment if you are a Muslim. And if you are a Muslim who can challenge me, don't forget to call me. As you see, we go live waiting for your call. It's a challenge, friendly challenge. Can you make it? Do it then. So Allah can give you extra versions. Thank you all. Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and we prove it every day. Love the Muslims, don't hate them. Be good as your Lord. Be good as your Lord. And the good you do, because you are good, not because you must do it. Because this is what you are. Not because somebody is forcing you. He was good, for this is his nature. So follow your Lord and don't be like Muhammad. Don't be a hateful person. Don't be a violent person. Everyone goes where he belongs. So my friend, if you believe in Christ, go where you belong. Be holy like him. God bless you. And may the Lord keep you safe. Take care.